Hey everyone, welcome to part 11 of this Godot beginner tutorial series where we are building an endless runner game in Godot Engine. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, please do so now and hit that notification bell to get updates of all new videos and tutorials in future. So in this uh, tutorial, we're going to be looking at creating our game over UI and also adding sound to our game and finally ending off this series. So I did say that we might look at uh, teaching our player to play this game on its own with AI, but what I've decided is that maybe that uh, deserves a series on its own and we can explain it in further detail. So I'm going to be leaving it out of this series for now and I'll be adding that in future uh, tutorials. So uh, definitely then do subscribe to the channel so that you know about that when I do release them. But uh, let's uh, jump into this tutorial and get this game done. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to look at creating our game over UI, which is going to be extremely simple. So what we'll do is we'll go over to our scenes. We created this game over UI TSEM. I'm going to change the type to control again like last time i'm going to resize this up over here to fit our canvas like so and then i'm going to right click i'm going to add a child node and i'm going to add a button and our button is going to contain our restart so you'll go to inspector and i'm just going to type restart in here and we're going to just resize this up and move this to somewhere in the center of the screen okay so i'm going to save that and now what we want to do is we want to create a script so on game over ui i'm going to click on the plus and we'll call it game over ui but we also want to put it into our scripts folder so i'm just going to type script over here to create it in our scripts folder create and I'll get rid of some of these comments, like so. I'm going to save that. And what we want to do now is we just want to have a way of disabling things and also just reloading scenes. So very simple, we'll go over to our button and go over to node and connect the pressed signal to our game over UI like so. And then what we want to do is we just simply want to reload our game when we press this button. And that's when the restart button pops up. So reload current scene like so. Okay. Then what we want to do is we want to know when our player dies. So we need to connect our signal of when our player is killed. So signals. So once again, now we can listen to that same signal we were getting when we were killing our player via our obstacle. And here we want to apply, apply it on self and we want to run something called game over. So we'll define this function, game over. And all we'll do is we'll self.show. So we'll show this game over UI when that happens. So back in our game, we want to bring this into our scene, like so. And now you'll see it's showing all the time. So we'll just check this box here to not show it. So what will happen is when the player dies, this will be unchecked by the script and it will show restart for us to restart our game. So let's test this, hit play. And let's see if we just get our player to die. So the first thing is a bone and then a barrel. So hopefully this will kill the player and we have a restart button. Click restart and you'll see it restarts the entire game with our score back at zero. So that's pretty simple to just have a restart game button for our game over. So we now have that. So now something we want to do is we want to start bringing in some sound into our game. So very simple. First thing we'll do some sound on our player. 
for jump and those sorts of things so let's uh, have a look at that so we're also going to trigger this via script so first thing we want to do here is we want to just add our different sounds so on our player right click add child node and we are looking for audio stream player like so and rename this to jump jump sound and we're going to add another one and let's rename this to death sound so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to make sure that the volume isn't too high so i'm just going to turn the volume down all the way so that you can't really hear it in the video but just remember that it will it is there okay so now what we'll do is well actually let's not do this let's uh, leave it the way it is uh, just to make it easier for you to go and modify this later uh, let's put that back okay, let's just re-add that again so audio stream and death sound So what I'll do here in the script, the player script, just as a initial thing to set up, is I'll add the master volume in our scene. So let's do that. So how we would do that is we need to just go modify the master sound. So we use something called audio server, server like that, and then we'll set bus volume. Uh, bus underscore volume db and then audio server server dot get bus index and that's going to be our master volume and let's set this to zero for now so you can go and modify this and this will modify the entire master volume of our scene and our game so make this one and it'll be quite loud and zero is just going to be silent for now otherwise uh, if i did play the sound in the recording it it might hurt your ears so let's uh, just uh, start off by setting up these two sounds so jump sound so we have in our assets folder we have some audio and we're just going to drag jump in here and for this sound we're going to just drag death in here and hit save so now what we need to do is we actually need to bring these into our script so that we can actually play them so what i like to do is i want to just uh, load them over here so we'll create uh, two variables on ready var and we'll call this uh, jump jump underscore sound and we will equal that to jump sound like that and then we'll do the same with the death sound death sound equals dollar death sound which refers to this node over here now what we need to do is just go and play them in the correct places so now because we've got the state machine this makes it extremely simple to do so here we'll just say jump well we and break it like that we'll go jump sound this dot play and we can just play it over there then the next place we need to do this is uh, when we kill the player so now here is an interesting thing that uh, happens is that because we are destroying our player and our sound is on our player our sound will not play because our player is destroyed before our sound can actually finish so what we can do is we can do a yield which basically says we will only allow the queue free to happen once our death sound has finished playing so one we need to call our death sound and play it then we need to connect it with a signal which we will wait for and this is where it comes from if you look at death sound and you go to node you'll see this finished signal over here so you can use a yield to wait for that signal so here what we'll do is we'll just say death sound 
and we are going to be waiting for the finished signal and it, once that finished signal is done we will queue free and kill our player okay so the next thing we need to just do is we need to make sure that we are going to be playing our reward sound as well for when we pick up our bone so to do that we are going to go over to our bone script over here so we've already done some signals and all those sorts of things but what we want to do here is we want to make sure that we don't show our bone but we still play our sound and then eventually cue free it once it is already played the sound so to do that when the player touches it we'll hide it just to hide the bone to give it time to play the sound and for it to then delete itself then we will basically take the pickup sound which we haven't created yet so what we want to do is just save this quick and uh, we need to open our bone scene so items bone scene like so and here in the bone scene we add a child node and it's going to be an audio stream player again and let's rename this to pick up sound and we just drag in our audio again for this into that empty slot and now we can actually refer to this pickup sound so let's go ahead and open that script again and let's just declare the variable on ready var pickup sound equals pickup sound and then we'll just go and play it pick up sound dot play and then we need to once again do a yield so we'll wait for the sound to finish so pick up sound and we'll wait for finished and once finished queue free and remove our our bone so now let's play this let's see if it works so you're not going to hear the sound now or you shouldn't hear the sound so we're going to try and just jump over this one now you do actually hear the sound which is uh, really bad but uh, let's go and modify this to just be like so actually maybe what we need to do is change this so that our master volume actually happens in a different place so maybe it shouldn't be in the player script so let's move that out of here and actually let's move this into maybe put it in let's just create a game script as well and then we can just put it in this ready to make sure we set all the sounds but anyway as you can see that's how we've now created sounds you can go modify the sounds whatever you want uh, you now know how to add sounds you now know also how to do the ui for the game over uh, anything here now is we're going to disable visible collision shapes so that our game looks rounded off and there you go now you can see you can jump and you can collect items and that's basically our game so guys that's basically the end of this tutorial series i hope it has been educational useful and uh, you can use all of these concepts to build your own games so if you did like the series and like this video please like give it a like and also look at maybe leaving some comments if you have any questions and uh, i hope you do subscribe to the channel because there's going to be a lot more tutorials coming uh, on various different topics uh, we might even go into 3d godot and also some artificial intelligence and so much more so thanks again for watching cheers and i will see you in the next video